students to take classes. That's the preparedness cutting God's word. Uh, last week, uh, that week before last, we were talking about the miraculous uh, miracles uh, that existed uh, uh, during that time. Uh, we had three, there were three words uh, that we used uh, to identify how miracles uh, do they exist on today. That's the question, do miracles exist today? And we know today that miracles do not exist. You know, but we had three words that we were using to be able to identify the fact that miracles don't exist in the world uh, today. And the first word that we use to identify that is, is uh, purpose, perfect, and passion. Those are three words that I was using to identify uh, that miracles do not exist. We know this because of purpose, perfect, and passion. We look at those a uh, little closer here this morning. We, we stop that. We stop that perfect, but we look at all. Uh, we stopped at the word perfect, and I, I know we did purpose already, but we looked at the fact that why this uh, like this miracles do not exist today. Uh, it's because what what was the purpose? What was the original purpose for God doing uh, miracles when Jesus walked this earth? Why did He do miracles? Why did the apostles do miracles? It was it was because it was a way to confirm God's word and also to confirm that the message came from God. Okay? That's why that's why it is a miracle uh, existed then. But we know mankind today, when they do uh, call themselves doing a miracle, they do it for uh, trying to do it for show. But Jesus did it to confirm the word. That's the only reason that a miracle existed during the time. Otherwise, Jesus would have never done a miracle. He only did it to confirm God's word. And God's men, they did it as well. Uh, it's a confirmation that the message came from God. That's the message of God. Um, in John, if you turn on John chapter 3, uh, basically, this is purpose. This, this is the word purpose. The purpose for a human. John chapter 3. Thank you, John. And we remember the lesson for the we know the lesson for Nicodemus. Uh, listen to what he says, John chapter 3. He said, There was a man, Pharisees, uh, named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by the night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher, come from God. Watch this, for God, no man, watch what he says, but no man can do his miracles that thou doest, except. God be with him. See that he knew. See this that it was a message from God. This is obviously a soul. Uh, so God God used these these uh these disciples to be able to do uh miraculous miracles to prove the message from God that it came from God. Alright, and then as we look at let's look at Mark. Chapter 16. Look at Mark chapter 16. And I'll show you again. And this is the word we use in here. Purpose. This is our first word that we use. Purpose. But we never thought that purpose. We couldn't get there. But this is something we reiterate purpose. Why there's uh, there's no purpose for, for, uh, for miracles on today. Uh, verse, uh, Mark chapter 16 verse number five, verse number 15. The Bible says, and he said, said unto them, Go ye unto all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And watch this, and these signs shall follow them and believe in thy name. Till I cast out devils, I shall speak with tongues. See, those were miraculous, miracles. Tongues that they had, the abilities they could do. Uh, I was pissed this morning. They could do all those those things, you know. And they were really uh, speaking, being able to speak different languages. Okay, this was this was done, you know. Uh, especially when we look at uh, we, we look at that too. We'll talk 
back at you, but Acts chapter 2, on the day of Pentecost, you know, they had the ability to speak all these different languages, different tongues, all because, you know, God, he, 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 put, that on, he put that on them to be able to do that. They only had powers because it was for a specific reason during that time. As they read on, he said, and then he said, uh, they shall uh, take no serpents. And if they drink, and then the thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. They shall recover. See, they being able to do all these miracles, healing, all these things. He did, he was doing this was a way to confirm his word. They knew then, see, they couldn't deny that. See, why, why, you know, see anybody can see anybody can do a message, but only God can do a miracle. And so that's why they, they that's the reason they did the both, when they did uh, the miracles, and uh, they used that as a way to confirm God's word. So that's the miracle to help them to believe that it was from God, that it was a message from God, it was a messenger of God, okay? Uh, and see, uh, today we see we see so many false teachers in our world today are trying to, you know, these guys claiming, we'll look at some of them too, men claiming that these that they got powers, claiming that they are uh, apostles. These guys, you know, there's there's no, there's no more of that. And our last word that we'll look at will be passing. You know, we look at that, we'll take a look at that word passing on today. You couldn't, you know, the only way you're going to have uh, being able to do miracles is what about somebody had to pass it to you. And nobody, and there's no apostle here to do that today. But, oh, uh, but yeah, so that's the word purpose. That's the first reason why I know that uh, miracles don't exist today because everything, the word has been confirmed. Did I say that? Did they just say that? Uh, Let's see here. Yeah, the words. See the word. Yeah, verse number. Verse number. Uh, look at verse Mark chapter sixteen, and look at verse number twenty. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord worked with them. You see that, and confirming the word with with signs and and following. The word has been confirmed. There is no need for. A miracle today. So that's the word purpose for it. There's no purpose for miracles today because it has been confirmed already. God's word is, he doesn't have to keep on confirming. There's no new revelation coming from heaven, so there's no need for a miracle today. The word God's word has already been confirmed. That's the word purpose. The next word we're looking at is perfect. And what do we say that word perfect means? Did we say that word perfect? What it means, and it comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, actually. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 13. <coughs> and look at verse number, this is the end purpose. We're looking at the word now, perfect. Uh, if you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and I want you to notice uh, verse number 10. He says, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is part shall be done away. Now what does it mean by the word perfect there? And in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the Apostle Paul, he lists about nine uh, spiritual uh, gifts they had during that time. And one of their main, uh, one of the two main gifts they were using during that time was uh, uh, tongues speaking, or, uh, miracles with tongues and knowledge. Think at verse number eight. He said, charity never fail, for whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. You know, he, during that time, um, just think about it. In Acts, you know, um, in Acts chapter two, they didn't have they couldn't say during the apostles' time, they couldn't say turn to Acts chapter 2 because they were living Acts chapter 2. One that they would stand up and, and maybe they'd give us, they would 
you may just speak 15 to 20 minutes uh, the truth, but they were guided by the Holy Spirit. They were guided. The tongues, they, they, God gave them their special uh, gifts to speak in tongues like that. He might speak 15, 20 minutes, but he was still from God. You, you see what I mean? So, uh, but then, look at verse number eight. This is what he says. He says, uh, charity or love never fail, for whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether that be knowledge, it shall be banished away. See, he gave them special knowledge. You know, these, these guys can, that's the only way that they could all, they could all worship during that time because they didn't have, I mean, the word of God wasn't finished yet. It wasn't, they, they, they didn't have a New Testament. So the Spirit gave them the abilities to speak, to give them knowledge and being able to speak uh, the word of God. You know, so you hear these guys today that are that are pretending <laughs> they speaking in they speaking in tongues and being able to you know doing all these special gifts that the apostles did. They all lying. They, that's you know, but we have but they have a way of fooling people today. It's like they can do that. You know, man mankind his way his <coughs> this idea of doing that is to show you and for showing to make money, and I show you that too. As we go on, mankind today, he, he wants to get paid. That's that's why these guys got these, these big churches that we see in our world. You know, they you know they making they making so much money until you know they have you know million dollar homes, they got airplanes, they're living so well, living large because you know they tricking people, man, and, and making money on people. You know, you know, I always say beating the simple minded people, you know, and uh, and if you can use they can Come and pretend, you know, act like they, you know, <laughs> a miracle on you or something like that. You know, they, they, get, you know, people, people give their money. You know, they, they, you know, because people want to, people want to feel good, and that's what they do. They make you just try to make you feel good, you know. And if and then if you know, and, and most of the miracles that they call themselves doing is, is nothing that was outward. You know, if you didn't have a arm, Jesus can touch your arm. You had an arm. You know, or maybe so maybe you can't walk, right? You can't walk. And all of a sudden they, they touch you, you can be you can be able to walk. But they'll 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 be what they call it they is something that's inward. Something inside of you, you know, you you know the person has cancer. Well you know they got medicines, you know, they can um, they can give you that can help you to overcome um, that cancer that you know that can Eat it up. They got they got medicines that can that can help you you know pull through. Some people make it through, but you know but uh, but then they tell you you know if you know if you don't if you don't overcome, say a person can't walk, and they say well you know the only reason the only reason you know you can't walk is you know is because you don't have you don't have enough faith. You gotta have faith. But those are not miracles, y'all. Those are not miracles. But these guys doing that we're looking at this morning are doing are doing miracles. They are, uh, and, and it's uh, and it's not to show. Man has always wanted to elevate himself above everybody. He always wants to think that he's doing something so great and he's so powerful. But that don't happen today. And he'll. Uh, look at this, I'll show you here, let's see here. Um, he said all that, he said what, where I stop at, whether that be tongues, they shall, you know, uh, it's time I'm telling speaking now, he said they shall, shall cease. Whether that be knowledge, they shall vanish away. Here's, here's our word right here that we, that we uh, are looking at, uh, perfect. This is our word perfect, and you know, how we uh, come up with with this word of scripture here. He says, for we know in part and we, uh, we prophesy. See, during this time, they only had only a part of the word of God. Only, only a part. They didn't have all the whole, the whole, the New Testament wasn't completed. So, here's, that's the reason he will only speak about 15 to 20 or 30 minutes because he only had a part of the, of the word. 
So that's what he means in verse 9. He said only uh, for we know in part, and we prophesy in part. He only, uh, he only had a part of the word. He only had a smidgen of the gospel that he could, that he could, that he could, uh, that he could preach from the Holy Spirit. But watch this though. He says, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. What is the word perfect means to be completed? When the word of God was completed, when the New Testament, Paul is saying when the New Testament will be completed, it would be the, all of the tongue speaking and all of these miracles, they would cease, they would go away, they will vanish away. See, both of them can't exist at the same time. You didn't need both, then you didn't need that. It wasn't no need to have it no more. So then he said when it was when the New Testament got completed, he said all that will vanish away. And it did. So we don't have that. See, the day for the partner, he can stand in this, he can climb up in his pulpit and say, turn to Acts chapter 2. He can do that today. See, God not talking to us today, uh, uh, through tongues, you know, through tongues, giving those, those, those gifts that he did. All right? Uh, I want you to get something else. Yeah, we're going to move on. Uh, 2 Timothy 3, 6, uh, 316. Yeah, 2 Timothy 316. Go there, brother. So we got the word of God. We got the word of God today. The New Testament is complete. We don't need, we don't need, we don't need nothing else. There is nothing else that we need. Uh, I want somebody to read that second Timothy chapter 3 verse number 16. Hold it right there. It says it's inspired, it's inspired by God. It's inspired by God. I keep I keep going.
they have decided to uh, add to it. In Revelation, the last book, John says, don't add to it, don't take away from his words. Right. And many, you know, and that's what they've done. They slowly but surely they have added to God's word and taken away until we got way out of hand, way out of control. And now we got, man, so many. The sad thing about it, we could have moved on, but so sadly, uh, so sadly, many, uh, many are going to lose their souls all because of that. A lot of souls will be lost in the end. But we also know that uh, miracles don't exist. We see purpose. There's no purpose for it. And the word of God is perfect. It's complete. The New Testament is completed, so therefore, there no, there, there's no reason for miracles. Our last word is passing. Now, what I mean about passing is the fact that nobody had, nobody is impossible to be able to do a miracle today because, you see, there's nobody here to pass it to you. There's no, all the apostles are dead and gone. So therefore, nobody can pass it to you. Now, in, uh, in Acts chapter 2, that was God, he passed, he, he gave the apostles the ability uh, to do uh, miracles. And then in Acts 10, with Cornelius uh, in his household, he did it. All the, all the, way, all the way that you could uh, uh, do a miracle, the apostles had to touch you, had to put hands, lay hands on you in order to do that. And like I say, that's that is impossible because all the apostles are dead and gone. The last uh, the apostle Paul was the last apostle. He's dead and gone. So who could so how can these guys that we see in our world today, how can they be doing miracles today when when Paul he's he, they all they all dead and gone? Who gonna who gonna pass it to him? That's the question. Who gonna pass it to him? Uh, what we need to go here. Let's look at, let's look at an example. I want to show what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go. Let's go to Acts chapter eight. Let's go to Acts chapter eight. And, uh, let's look at there for a few minutes. Uh, Now you remember Philip, you know, he, he, Philip, Philip had these abilities to do miracles, right? I'm going to show you something. And then I'm going to show you how, how, as I stated, I'm going to show you how, how, uh, how mankind, how people do today, you know, you know, everything that we said, like the scriptures we just read, you know, uh, you can find everything in the word of God. The stuff that went on then, you know, people are doing it today. You know, I, and I think Brother Parker made that statement, I want to say, last Sunday. People are doing the same thing that they did maybe 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, they just wear different clothes. Yeah. We wear different clothes. We drive automobiles. They rode on donkeys. But the people are still the same. Something that we did, somebody that you did something, somebody's done what you've done a thousand years ago. What I've done a thousand years ago. It can't happen, you know. You know so, just like, you know, uh, just like Noah, when you preach, Noah ain't nobody but like Brother Park or any other gospel preacher. Now, I don't know whether he was wearing a suit or not, you know, at that time, but, but it, you know, he preached the word, trying to get people to be saved. But uh, this is the Acts 8, and I'm going to just show you something here. When I, when I mean, there's nothing new on the sun. Oh, uh, I'm trying to find out where I want to go here. Get here. Somebody started start verse number five. Then we're going to get into, as we read this a little bit, it's going to take us to a Philip uh, doing these, these great signs and wonders. Let's look at this. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. Uh huh. Keep going. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and the people with one accord gave. Gave her head unto those things, <coughs> spoke faith, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came 
out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with praises, and that were lame were healed. He was you know, lame, he, you know, he healed you, you know, healed right away. See? That's because Philip had those, he had those actual gifts, spiritual gifts that we'll be talking about. Okay, keep going, brother. And there was great joy in that city. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria. Hold on, right, what does that mean, he bewitched people? What does that really mean? He fooled them. Yeah, he tricked them. He was, he, was, he was tricking people, man. We got, you know, and, and and that's what people are doing today in our world. They are tricking people, man. They are smart. They have been taught how to do these, these witchcraft and these tricks, man, to where they can do some amazing things. There's some guy, they can do some, some um, stuff that will blow your mind. But keep in mind, it's only a trick. He's not for real. You know, um, they had this dude a long time ago, uh, uh, Chris Angel, you know, he, he did uh, this little magician that was, you know, that would be on, but he was pretty popular a good while, some years back. And, um, and he, one time they showed him like he was walking on water. And he was, he, he had people on the side of the pool, and some on this side and some on that side. He was just walking in the middle like this, walking. And, um, and they were they were all amazed, but it wasn't up a trip because he probably he had he had a glass, a see-through glass thing under the uh, under the pool there, and you know the sun was like, yeah, man, right, you know, only Jesus. People do, you know, even the center man was man, only Jesus walked the water for real, you know. People kind of knew, it, but he was tricking people though, like he was walking on water. He really was, but he was sitting on a clear, like a like a board, like a. Clear board underwater, just walking on that thing. But people do things like that. They trick people. You see what I'm talking about? They, they were people who trick you and fool you today, uh, uh, as if, as if they got power. What do we uh, what do we stop off at? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Giving out that himself was some uh, great one. See, that was told right there. They, they, you know, they, they want, they only do this. You know, to impress you like they are great men, they got the power of God, and God has given them power. And God ain't given them nothing. And we can see that. We can see today that even the word of God is, is uh, letting us know that you know that people today are doing that. We are people doing the same thing as they did then uh, uh, today. So we got to be very careful there. Um, keep on working. To whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, "This man is the great power of God." Oh, that man! He getting all hold. He getting to see all he wants. You see what I mean? They gave they, they, they giving him all this praise. And you know, and for that, and for that, they give up their money, man. They, people, you know, taking people's hard-earned money, fooling them like that. Just, you know, doing, you know, doing those kind of things, you know. Uh, and, you know, and even, man, it's crazy, but, I mean, we're not, we're not trying to, well, I guess we're trying to, in church Christ, we're trying to tend, we tend to do miracles, but we do, we, you know, we see, uh, Build congregations of they are building now where they, they are, instead of teaching God's word, staying with his word, they are saying things and these lessons, man, just just to put you on cloud ten, man, and let you live any kind of way you want to live. And you know, but God's word was, was designed to man to focus. It doesn't it doesn't go with you know what we think or what we feel. But these guys, and just like it was going then, doing all these great things, you know, for money and, and, uh, and for fame, you know, to build their name or make themselves look good, you know, like they're God and people look up to them like they are God. They give up their money and everything. Lose their homes. What do you think this is about? Uh, that is true, but, uh, you know, as people, 
We have to be we being disobedient because if we read the word of God, we'll get knowledge on things and you'll know whether the person that you're listening to is saying the same thing Christ is saying, God is saying, right. in the same direction as he does. And that's why, you know, we just go for entertainment, we listen to what the people say, and we never search a stuff. Not for ourselves, like the word says, because right. when you read God's word, like you say, you live healthy. But it's direction. It tells us that's why he's saying we don't have no excuse. He, he, he left word for us. Yeah. And he, uh, the thing about you, people they've been finished reading it, but uh, the bottom line is, uh, this is interesting that people don't, people don't want to search it because they feel like that, you know, they've been, we talk about this all the time. Uh, uh, but people want to feel good, you know. They want to feel good about themselves, you know. They want somebody, you know, to, to lift them up and just, oh man. That's moving stuff. And all, uh, <laughs> and you know, and then when we do that, you know, we start doing that, and we get in trouble every time. But they don't know because they're not, you know, they're not trying to search it because you know, because everybody else is doing. Okay. And you know, if you know, if, if everybody else is doing it, then that means you know it must be okay. Because why would all these people be doing that? But they yeah. read the word of God. Yep. Yeah, and right. so, <laughs> in the <laughs> way of destruction. That's right. But straight as you gave, narrow is the way what? that leads to life. But only a few that will be there to find it. This is the way. I think uh, <clears throat> one of the issues with miracles is that people don't really understand the definition of it. It's, it's, it's used so loosely right. uh, in the world. If somebody is uh, has been found in the desert, they you know after ten years, uh, after ten uh, days, and they've been found, then that's a miracle. Um, uh, if if somebody has uh, four babies right. at once, that's a miracle. And so the term is used so loosely yeah. now that everything is a miracle. And yeah. uh, but getting back to the definition, uh, it's it's like an improbable uh, something that's not likely to happen. So right. when Jesus calmed the storm, that's a miracle. Right. Yeah. You know when um, he fed five thousand people, that's a miracle. And so when we learn the definitions and what these words truly mean, then that can kind of help people, um, you know, with what these things mm -hmm. truly are. And some, we, we can sometimes get into the habit of being like the world and just saying things are miracles if we don't, if we don't, if we're not conscious of it and catch ourselves uh, with that. So terminology and understanding what things mean is, is extremely important. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're all saying. We can go there. People, you know, that people are using this soul, you know, like I say, use that term loose, they call it everything a miracle, you know. When, and, um, you know, having, like you say, having a child is it's, it's a beautiful thing, but it's not a miracle, you know. You know, when, when Christ, when they did, when he did the miracles then, it was something that was instant, you know. You can, like I said, you didn't have a arm, you know, he touched you and you, you had it on. That's a miracle, you know, and, and it could and it could not, you know, it couldn't be denied that it wasn't a miracle. You know what I mean? So these, like you said, these these guys, they call everything any and everything a miracle. But uh, and so many behind that, so many people are getting misled, you know. They're uh, they're not they're, they're, they don't search the scriptures, you know. And uh, but like I say, that's because it sounds good, you know, it sounds good, it, it feels good, and uh, everybody is, everybody's doing it, you know. I was just going to say, uh, you know, when people are supposedly performing the miracle, there's always something internal. Yeah, like I've exactly. been cured of cancer. Exactly. Or things like that, but you don't ever see them, anybody touching somebody and a, on a, on a lamb is coming back. Oh, yeah, like exactly. That. And then you think about it, it's true. <clears throat> What if, what if, you know, if, you know, some of these guys that say they can be an the, the apostle, right? How come, how come, you know, they don't cure themselves? <laughs> you know, we read, we just read it in, in uh, I think it was Mark, Mark 16, I verse them 15, somewhere in there, where uh, uh, he said, he tells them, look, they, would, they wouldn't get sick, you know, uh, let me We're still in Acts 8, y'all. I'm sorry. I remember some of the marks. 
16 that we just read, in Brown verse number all. Number 18, he says, watch what he said. He said, they shall take uh, up serpents, and if they drink any better thing, it shall not hurt them. See that? They, 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 these guys were true apostles. They wouldn't get sick. <laughs> they, wouldn't, they wouldn't get sick like that. You see what I'm talking about? They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Just like that. See? Um, just the same thing. Um, that's just what we just said earlier. It was it happened just like that. It wasn't no okay six months and you gotta have faith and you gotta wait and wait. No, that, that didn't happen like that. It was it was instantly, right away. Well, well, you was all that, uh, from the shipwreck and uh, the surf that was forbidden and they didn't uh, drink the
uh, during that time. So, uh, so today they they are they are uh, they are no, they, they they don't exist today. They all been. I think Paul was the last one uh, that uh, that died. So you know, guess what? There's there's no there's no need for uh, the miracles that we see now. Uh, I'm gonna share one more verse of scripture. We did have a lot of them, but I'm gonna share uh, another here. Look at the go to. Uh, I just want to show you that. Go to Romans. I'm just showing you here that there's what I mean about the word passing. Because nobody, you know, know, know the key with this text, this word passing, is we're looking at the fact that can't nobody pass it to you today. There's no way uh, that you're going to be able, nobody's going to be able to do a miracle today. Go to Romans chapter 1, verse number 11. You know, but look, he's complaining 
What is he gonna tell them? What are you gonna tell them? What, is, what, is, what did he say? He said, then I profess unto them, I never knew you. They gonna say, depart from me. So you gonna have people that claim it, that they did miracles, but the Lord cast out devils, but they didn't. They didn't do that because there's no passing. There's no way that they could do a miracle. You know, only, only the apostles could do that. But you have people that uh, they would uh, they would they would try to claim that. Oh, uh, I think I got maybe one more here. Let's see, First John, First uh, John. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of a lot of people have uh, been misled. You know, as I stated earlier, that's the bottom line. Uh, people have been, you know, misled down the line for so long, and they just they they are just believing that. You know, it's, it sounds good, and, and people are are well. They are they are very smart. They they know how to they know how to fool you, and Satan gets involved. Uh, he gets involved so that he like to you know, love, I always say this, he loves the smart people. The devil loves smart people, you know that? You know why he likes smart people? <laughs> because the smart people can get in there and manipulate and mess everybody up. He can, he can trick them for them. And he, you know, and he sit down and talk to these, some of these false gospel preachers, I mean, oh, not, they ain't, they're not gospel preachers. Uh, false teachers, and he sit down and you know he have a talk with them and say, man, you can be rich. You can be. I can make you rich and make you you can make you feel good and, and you know they, you, they do all these things, man. And, and uh, these guys do it. They, they do it. Uh, what I say, First John chapter four and verse number one. We'll close with this. Somebody read that. We'll close out. We believe not in the spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Oh, see right there. That's all I want. Oh, that's the reason too why we know that miracles are not in, uh, existing because you know how you can uh, to be identified, just understand that you know people are uh, there are false teachers around our world today. Many, many false prophets, you know. So we looked at, so now that we looked at purpose, perfect, and passion, there, there are no reason those three words were able to show us. I hope I, I hope I did. I hope I did. He's the picture for you. That, uh, that the reason why miracles today do not exist in our world, you know, they all they pass, you know, there's no passion. The word of God is perfect. And therefore, it's no purpose for it because it has been confirmed. Are there any questions or any comments or whatever that you? If not, we we'll turn over to the song here. Close the song and close the prayer. Let's go one minute. Okay. Good to see you, Lexus, and Archie. Good to see you, Lexus, and Archie. And we'll be standing. There's no way in the door